Hello, this is Admiral Seabass. Uh, we're ready for uh, R1, uh, Russian turn one in Global 40. There's a situation again. Uh, Germany hit uh, UK really hard, took out almost all their Navy. Uh, mass troops in the south for what is an apparent either G2 or G3 uh, on Russia. And so um went back and forth a little bit on this build for Russia. Definitely wanted to do a tech roll uh, for wartime economy for them. They could use some extra money. Um, you know, I think the easiest thing to do with Russia is just to build a bunch of dudes uh, early on. Um, but, you know, Russia really, they got a lot of guys uh, on the board. Uh, what they need is offensive pieces to counterattack. And so uh, since Germany didn't hit us straight out of the gate on a G1, I thought I'd take the opportunity here to just buy two guys an advanced mech and uh remember uh russia got a free advanced mech uh technology and then i buy four tanks uh they had um no never mind so four tanks uh, they need to pump up that uh counter attacking power to to hit back at the the germans so um anyway that's uh that's their purchases uh for this turn let's go ahead and do the tech roll uh, now and pick that up and uh, for two bucks we're going for wartime economy there so I need a uh, a seven or higher on this d12 and uh, no fail all right so that's technology roll fails for both the Germans and the uh, Russians here so uh, I'm gonna make I don't think I'm gonna have any combat moves we're not gonna go to war uh, in fact, I don't think we can go to war with anyone at this point. So I'm going to make my non-combat moves and then uh, come back. Okay, uh, here's my... Uh, sorry about the glare there. Here's my non-combat moves with Russia. Uh, pretty standard blockers uh, in front there. I toyed a little bit with maybe uh, putting uh, three or four guys each in Baltic states and um, eastern Poland just because... They've only got guys there. I mean, they could get the tanks up in there, but uh, if they're going south and this is their pivot, um, I wanted to make it so they couldn't just attack with a bunch of guys and uh, take me out, but I decided against it. Uh, turtling a bit here in Leningrad, uh, put the blockers in there in the Baltic for the Navy, but I do expect them to hit that with an amphibious assault at some point if they don't go uh, UK. Uh, put that sub in 125 because um, there is a bonus there for the Axis um, or uh, the Soviets uh, once they're at war with Germany. Uh, put my uh, got a, a counterattacking force there that could hit the mechs and the tanks could hit Bezarabia and the planes could come in too. Probably won't do that, but just getting ready for a counterattack there into Ukraine. Um, at some point. So, yeah, pretty standard play uh, here for Russia uh, in uh, R1. So uh, I'll be back uh, in a minute with the place units. Okay, uh, place units here. The advanced mech and the tanks going in Russia. I toyed with putting them down there, but putting them here gives me a little more flexibility depending on what Germany does. Put uh, the two infantry down there in Ukraine because I've got so many in Leningrad, and uh, those won't be needed for two or three turns. So I want to put more down there uh, in Ukraine. So uh, that's it, and they saved a dollar. So uh, let me uh, count out their uh, income from this turn, then I'll come back. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> Germany uh, collected 37, saved a buck, so they got 38 to spend next turn. So uh, I'm sorry, Russia collected 37, saved a buck, they got 38 to spend next turn. So uh, that's it. Oh, uh, I did move these guys back. Uh, Japan can have those if they want. Uh, they'll have to fight the uh, uh, Mongolian guys if they do that. But uh, these guys will be needed over here. So uh, started to pull them back. Uh, okay, that's it for R1. Admiral Seabass out.